All right, we're on our last tab. We're gonna do a sensitivity analysis here. And in particular, we're gonna see how our budget changes and how the outcome of our budget changes as we change our starting rent amount. Because when you're making, when you get your first job out of school or you're going and looking for a new place, you're really locking in a substantial part of your budget right then by how much you're gonna spend on rent. So we're gonna look at how our model changes as we change rent from $600 all the way up to $1,300. And we're gonna do that by getting our ending savings, our ending credit card balance, and the difference between those two from the previous tab. And we're gonna use a tool that's a, really a special Excel tool here called a data table. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna select this whole range of data and then go into data, what if analysis, data table. All right, so this data table is gonna run a number of scenarios for me. And, it's, and in this case, the scenarios are in a column. So the 600 down to 1300 are all in this column. So I'm gonna do the column input cell but what I wanna do is change that initial rent amount. So if I put G3 in my column input cell, what Excel is going to do is it's gonna put $600 there. It's gonna update the entire model, recalculate everything, and give me the answers back for $600. It'll record them in the table. It'll then do it for 700, record the answers in the table, and on and on through the entire data table. So let's hit okay to see that. And it may look like it didn't work. So this is gonna happen for a number of you. It'll look like it didn't work. All we need to do is update our calculations. F9 will do that for us. And as soon as we hit F9, it recalculates the data table and we get all of our answers. And here we can see the big substantial difference that it makes to essentially have a lower cost at the beginning or be saving more money. And let's see it by answering our questions. So our first question is, how much do you save over five years with a $600 rent expense? Well, we can just reference it in our table. We save $23,000. Over five years with a $900 expense, well, we're still saving, but in this case, we only save $1,000. What about if we have $1,100 rental costs? How much do we owe? Well, we owe $15,000 by the end of five years. If instead we do a $1,300 a month rent, now we owe $35,000. And if we look at the difference between essentially what we save at $600 versus what we spend at $1,200, we see that that's $48,000 different. And I can move this message here. I just finished, it got my time. So 48, almost $50,000 is the difference between a $600 a month rent and a $1,200 a month rent. So it's okay to pick something that's $1,200 a month if you can afford it, it fits in your budget, and if you're aware of kind of what that's gonna to do to your financial picture going in. And that's really the value of financial modeling is we can be aware of how our choices are going to affect our financial position in the future. So we've finished at the model. We say, okay, we can see it actually gives us our time. And at this point, we can now practice to get faster. Obviously I took a while because I was explaining each step along the way, but try to hit this time and then try to make it better. The more work you put into it, the more comfortable you are in Excel with these functions, the easier challenges are gonna be, not just in the competition, but in your classes, and in your career as well.